Ebola virus, is it? Huh? Huh? Ah, how are you? <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> I was uh, down the village doing the laundry. <laughs> now, how'd you get on? I got five pairs of panties, oh. two bras, and a lovely pair of nylons. Oh. Dogs. <laughs> A dirty <laughs> devil, yeah. <laughs> Will they, um, fit? Uh, take a look. <gasps> oh, lace. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Oh, I see you. Uh, feel him up. Finbar is back from his holidays. Uh. <laughs> Had a miserable time, by all accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it was as bad as this couple's trip abroad. Turlock and Hannah Royds from Rectal's Pass were heading away on their first holiday in years. It, Turlock had opened a new business and for five years couldn't afford to take the time off. Meanwhile, Hannah stayed at home to look after her invalid mother, who'd had a stroke and couldn't get around by herself. She was a nice old one, and although Hannah never complained, she and her husband needed a holiday. The fella in Sputum's travel recommended Mexico. <laughs> her sun, sea, sand, and other... He said, oh, It's a great place to <laughs> unwind. And so they packed their bags and were all set to go. Hannah had made arrangements with Mrs. Splatter, who lived at the end of the road, to look after her mother while they were away. Ah, so they had it all organized, so? Yep, they were all ready to go, but Mrs. Splatter was an hour late. <laughs> Where is she? We'll miss our bloody plane. Turlock was getting impatient. Hey, calm down. I just rang her. She lost track of time. She said she'd be up in two minutes. Hannah reassured him. Well, let's go. She's got keys. She can let herself in. So they kissed their mother goodbye and left her watching neighbors on the telly. As they were packing their car, an idiot came down the road and nearly plowed into them. Joyriding, gobscene waster. You think an agent? <laughs> well, that's a great start to our holiday. Turlock shouted. <laughs> the sooner we get in that plane, the better. <laughs> Had you a bit of a stressed head on him? <laughs> I sure tell you what. The holiday will do him the world of good. Oh, you think so, do you? Firstly, the plane was delayed by ten hours. When they arrived in Mexico, they had a five-hour trip in the back of a truck oh. to their hotel, which turned out to be not much more than a corrugated shed. The dream holiday had gotten off to a bad start, and it wasn't going to get much better. Their room was small and windowless. The bathwater was brown, and they shared a bed with numerous cockroaches. The beach, described in the brochure as... <laughs> Within walking distance is a white silvery strand of <laughs> heavenly paradise. Was in fact 40 miles away and acted as a sewage dump for the town of Chatoga. Then there was the cataclysmic bout of diarrhea that Hannah suffered and the four days in bed with a swollen lad that Turlock had got from a jellyfish sting. Jesus. And after the first week, their room was ransacked and all their stuff was nicked, including passports. It took them five days to get a temporary visa home from their so-called embassy. Uh, come here. Did they uh, get to go on any of them uh, nudie bitches? Back up, uh. gob, Sheen. When they eventually got off the plane, Turlock kissed the tarmac. Thank God we're home, he said. They got in their car and sped home, dreaming of baths, decent food, and getting back into old routines. I never take another holiday as long as I live. I swear to you, Hannah, if another thing had gone wrong, I'd have lost my mind. <laughs> so he was glad to be home then? <laughs> ah, he was, yeah. He turned the key in the door. Only to be greeted by... The old mother-in-law. No. The putrid stench of rotten flesh. Huh? The mother was sat in front of the flickering telly, just as they had left her two weeks ago. Rotting in her own juices, with stage six rigor mortis set in. Jesus. Did the neighbour not come in and look after her? Well, she would have, if she wasn't mowed down and killed 
by the same joyriding bastard as she walked the short distance to Hannah Royd's house only moments after they had left. <laughs> the mother lasted five days sitting in her chair unable to move. No one came to look after her as no one knew. With her carer on a cold marble slab in the moor. <laughs> Jesus, that's shocking, huh? Know, yeah. <laughs> hey, do you think, uh, do you think if we went on a holiday for two weeks, would uh, Granny end up uh, dead on a cold slab in the morgue? Ah, Jesus, we've tried everything. So you know she's in league with the uh, Dark Lord. The queer fella. Jesus, don't say it too loud. She'll hear you. Oh, 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 oh no! Look what you've done. Her head's spinning. Oh, 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 oh,